they say it's me that that arranged everything. It's me that took the date. It's me that do this. And they didn't look for the children since then. It's only me and God. His plan is not good. He's looking for money. And he wants to use my daughter to do ritual money. Even the girl is just okay now with a prayer and everything. If it was last two years, if you saw the girl, she, she already lose her brain. Even the day the girl wants to tell me what she's doing to, to her. Daddy do this, her daddy do that, say your daddy. And I didn't ask her, and she already, she's with me like two months before she starts saying those things to me. Say this is what her father did. Because when, when we depart, he took that girl to his grandma at Abe Okuta. So that one now be using that girl and selling something. She not send the girl to school. So when the girl now said, uh, when they want to sleep in the night, the father will just run inside and said, we have to be, we come with a poly bag, a lilo. Go and put it inside that lilo. We'll be choking her in a private part then. Even the grandma was late now. Say, grandma will be telling her, yeah, like Jafile, her money, she said she is not yet sleeping. You say she come and sleep, push her inside, and the woman is an old woman. Which our mother know about it because when they are in Lagos, they say, when he come from, when he's leaving, when he just bang into his uh, own mother's house, it's only that girl, which other boys are there, only that girl sponge that will use and bath and go. The girl now say, ah, my daddy, why are you using my own sponge? There's still three boys there that he can use their sponge to bath. Do I work with Loma before? But well, some years ago, like five years ago, so I left there. So working with a, a one estate or a cleaning house for some people, maybe from 5.30 in the morning to 12, I finish my job. Cleaning everywhere. Like, I have like three offices I'm cleaning. So I'll clean the environment, the estate and, and the Dulu estate. The whole estate, I'll clean the surroundings. So by 11.30 to 12, I'm done. And some compounds, uh, compound, I clean some people's compound, wash their gutter, wash their toilet. That's what I'm doing. Why did you leave Loma? What happened is that I've worked in Loma now, like nine years I worked there. So my husband, I worked over 12 years there, but my husband left me. This making 10 years, sure. What happened there is that nothing to gain there. They are just using us. If something comes out from um, Alausa, they did not give us. But the way they are using us, though, what makes me live there is that the sand we are packing at the main road affects me at my, in my chest. So I can't be able to breathe away. So that's why I live there. When you said things were coming from Alausa and they did not give you, what, what do you mean? And we always hear about they want to borrow some people money. I even have a, a supervisor that after she collected her picture, collects every information about us. At the end of the day, we will now hear that you pack all his family to go and get those things, but they are not giving us share. So people use their families to get the benefits mm -hmm. that were coming, like maybe loans for businesses and all of that. Mm -hmm. And all this, uh, maybe some people that know how to grant paper or tailor, maybe those things come out from there. So they give their, you, after they use us with their uniform, so they take their people there to collect the, this thing there. We don't achieve anything there. You said they take you there with your uniform to collect those things and put their they people, work, do you? They, they have our pictures and our names. They will say they want to give you those you things. People, yes, but at the end of the day, we hear that it's their family they took to the place. And this was happening for how long? It has been happening now because the owner of our own section, Mr. Ogunjimi, the man was late now. But the lady that is working with us as supervisor, I don't know, maybe you work with the, uh, maybe the man knows about it. Well, what I really know is that the supervisor gone gone because one of his junior brother wife, when that thing wants to happen first, is that time the lady, the lady is in Loma now, but she don't, she don't do Loma before. But when those things start coming out, I now saw the lady, one of our, our, of our workers now say, is the thing that was coming out from there, they took, the, they called that lady for, to come and receive it. So that's what we, 
know about and when they give their money to give us especially that supervisor like three times she don't give us the money and when we go for seminar when Fashola was there you will say they give this they give the same people to make her but we don't see anything like that how did you get to start working at Loma were you doing something else or how did who introduced you to Loma mm, what happened is that I have problem with my husband and I've already have four children for him. So I now be running up and down. I should want to I came to one of my friends at uh, Penn Cinema. So I now met them that please can I join this uh, and I say the money is very small. Though they said that time they are paying eighteen thousand era. But they start with nine thousand but I left there with twelve thousand era sha. I left there with twelve thousand when I want to leave leave uh, Loma. So that's how I joined Loma work. Even when we joined them, they will say there is one boss that will collect this, collect that. I said I should because I need a job that time. So I yeah, manage even that time, instead of the nine thousand save, I collected a thousand era. And I'm living at a paradigm that time with four children that time. Okay. You, you left your husband or he asked you to go? Mm, what happened is that we have an issue. He's not ready to take care of the children. Like my first one now. <clears throat> what he wants to do with that girl, which God, which God showed me, and people let me know, you don't want to take any responsibility at all. And the mother is the cause of everything. So for me to leave the girl for her, like some years, so what they do with the girl, I don't like it. That's why I packed all my children and started doing something and take care of them. When you say what he did with the girl, do you want to tell us what he wanted to do? Or it's not something you can say. Mm, it's not something because what happened is that there was a day we have an issue. So the mother now said, I'm the one that spoiled his uh, life. Like when this my daughter wants to do his uh, freedom November 20. So I gave them notice that the girl wants to do freedom. Though you people don't have anything to offer me. You say you don't have anything to offer me. I say, okay. How do we want to buy the dryer and pay the madam? I'm the one that puts the girl to go and learn work. It's when I don't have money again, I withdraw the girl from school that I should not go to school again. So I met them to give me money to add to the bus money and the freedom. They say they don't have anything to give. They say it's me that, that arranged everything. It's me that took the date. It's me that do this. And they didn't look for the children since then. It's only me and God. So that's why I said uh, what happened between us. That's why I left him. So you, you made up your mind and you left him and you didn't feel bad? Mm, because his plan is not good. He's looking for money. And he wants to use my daughter to do the sure money. Even the girl is just okay now with a prayer and everything. He wants to use the girl. So when I heard, I noticed about it. even it, if it was last two years, if you saw the girl... She she already lose her brain, which my because my father is a pastor, so I have pastors around me, which they have is the girl that even even the day the girl want to tell me what she is doing to to her, uh, there's one of my minister there. He's like was that day I used something for the girl, maybe I didn't even pour an empty that she say our ah, daddy do this, our ah, daddy do that. Say your daddy. And I didn't ask her, and she already, she's with me like two months before she starts saying those things to me. Say, this is what her father did. Because when, when we depart, he took that girl to his grandma at the Abel Kuta. So that one, I'll be using that girl and selling something. She not send the girl to school. So when the girl now said, uh, when they want to sleep in the night, the father will just run inside and said, oh, yeah, Toby, we come with a poly bag, a nylon. Go and put it inside that nylon. We'll be choking on in a private part then. Even the grandma was late now. Say, grandma will be telling her, yeah, like, I feel her like money. She says she is not yet sleeping. You say she come and sleep, push her inside, and the woman is an old woman. Wish our mother know about it, because when they are in Lagos, yes, eh, when he come from, when he's leaving, when he just bang into his uh, own mother's house, it's only that girl which other boys are there. Only that girl sponge that will use and bath and go. The girl now say, ah, my daddy, why are you using my own sponge? There's still three boys there that he can use their sponge to bath. But he's using that only that girl sponge to bath. But after that, the girl was, in fact, 
but I'm t I, I give glory to Ghana because if it was last two years or three years ago, in fact, the way this girl was, as if, if I just give God the glory, Sha. So there was um, there was a time the mother said, I'm the one that spoiled his life. Is it not, maybe last year I told her mother that she should ask his son what he put in his hand into about uh, for a, his uh, firstborn that he should tell you. The mama now started crying. So that's what the what I had with them last. So I didn't hear anything about them again. So you've not seen him since then or heard anything about him? No, what happened is that we have a program at a... Uh, there's one man they call Baba Shibioba. So we doing crusade up and down. So I was there last two, last three weeks in Agege. So he now came to where we sat down, started shouting. Mad, even people are telling me that I should not talk to him because the way he's talking, that uh, me have put something in this guy's mind, that I don't want to stand and talk with him. I don't want to do this. So that was where we met last. And I called his mother, second day that, help me warn your son. I have not seen him since all this day. He came to that place and pray, and I also came to the place and pray. Now he came there yesterday and I started disgracing me. I don't like it. So the next Friday, now the mama now say I should not be annoying that. Is he the one that is supposed to be taken up and down and that? I, may, I should look at our own age. Our age, I say, Mama, is what you cost. And that's your own cup of tea. That one is not my own. So the last crusade, they did not come. Mm. Okay, let's talk about your business. You said you clean estates for a living. And how much do you earn? What happened is that I have like three, uh, like four compounds that I used to clean. A month, they gave me 3000 but my mind is that when I work here, I receive three thousand. I work here, I receive four thousand. I work here, I receive three thousand. At the join of everything is something. At the end of the month, you get ten thousand naira maximum. Mm -hmm. At the end of the month, I have like three houses paying three three thousand. So I have one paying four thousand. Like the office now, they pay a thousand naira because it's twice in a week, and I'm not staying there. So I like I have like three offices. So my daughter will, at least we are there by two, six. So before we, because the estate work should start by seven o'clock, which the ESCO will be going around and wash over us. So I will be there very early, work in one office, my daughter and I just manage the office. But after we finish by 10.30, and I'll go to the compound and clean, clean the compound. So you go around with your daughter too? I go, I go around with her. Everywhere you go? Everywhere. I even work at uh, Maryland, clean house uh, every Saturday. Immediately I leave uh, the Dulu Estate by 11.30. So I go with John. We go every Saturday so that that one will join me. Mop and sweep. So me, I wash the toilets. Okay. How about your other children? There are just two of them here now. What about the other one? Mm -hmm. They're going to school. They're, they're going to school, yes. There's one with my... I have five children. I have four boys, one girl. So one with my mother-in-law, because that one is the one that follows to be. So it's because when the issue started from day one, and I'll drop that one when I don't have anywhere to, because the man traveled to Calabar that time. I have two children for him. So when he now come back there, he came, he now pack everything in the house, go and sell for Mola at Ela Depot. So I now called the mother that your son that he was not around since all this year. When he wants to go, he now come pack bed, everything, and say to the Malam people, me, I will not follow you to Calabar because for you to come down from that place since how many years without bringing anything, come and pack everything. So I go to my mother's house. So from there, I don't have anything to feed the two children. So I now drop one for the my mother-in-law. They don't want to call it. I drop it at, uh, at their gate outside there. So from there, when he now came back, so I started worry, 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 wait for him. So at the end, I didn't wait for him. But when my father said I should not put hope on him, I just told my father that I can't be able to be, I can't double date and marry him, marry him, marry him. That's why I have that children for him. So I now later go and meet him at, uh, in Calabar. But when we are in Calabar, he's working, he's, he's a tailor. Me, I'm selling food there. So the mother now be calling and saying, 
If it is uh, Tolu that born you, you say you should not go because when they call him when he's working, he will say, oh, well, my mommy, let me get to my house this woman, maybe he will come to Lagos. So the woman now say, is he, uh, am I his mother that will before he will answer ah. Uh, for, uh, him. So my father, I now told my father, my father now warned him that he should not tell his mother like that. If you want to go to Lagos, go, don't tell your mother that I'm, me, I'm delaying you. Because I was there like eight years, I didn't come home. So we have John and Paul there okay. that time. So that's how I have the children for, for him. So since then, when we are there, we are doing fine. But when the mother now say, hey, we should come home, we should do this, we should do that, by coming back home, we now separate. When we come back, when the mother now see that, if you want to do this, and it's what we are doing together before, that you must know the, the real, the, she, she must be the first person to know what <laughs> before me. So, and now the man is not doing it, even when we are in Calabar. He's doing, he's, he's trying his own best. But when we are in Lagos, me, I do this, I do that. So I work in one school before, at Yanokpaja, before I now got this uh, Loma work. But the woman don't want to believe. This is the third house that I will rent by myself. But when he now see that this woman is Ozu, at the end of the day, now later told the guy to go and marry another woman. So when he married that lady, the children now is with her, my mother-in-law, because that one cannot stay. My mother-in-law will be telling her, the person that even have uh, like how many children for himself is also for the children. That why you, that you have only this small, small one that you cannot also. So he now drop the children for the mother. So that was where I mm. start my... Okay, so did you marry him um, legally? Like, did you, did you do traditional engagement and all? Did you do all of those things, the, the marriage? Or? No, we did not do anything. So, so how, how did you come about marrying What him? happened is that he is a fashion designer and I also in fashion design. So where we are working together is the place that we met ourselves. So by and that time, when these uh, Muslim people have a Ilya or Itunuawe, we walk overnight there. So that's how we met ourselves. Okay, so how easy has it been for you taking care of the children? I mean, you said you left your husband because you didn't like the fact that he wasn't taking care of the children. Now that you are by yourself with the children, how easy has it been for you to take care of four of them now, yes? Mm -hmm. No, there were five. You said one is with the mother in uh, Four boys and one girl. So, uh, is this job we are doing now? So, what happened is that like uh, three, uh, three years ago, where I'm working, one of my sisters is working there with me. So, when she now says she no more working again, I now told my daughter, even I working with last part, before they even grown up like this, so at uh, Penn Cinema, there's one tree garden there, before they start the bridge. So I took them there, how to sweep the place, how to rebuild. Because when they come from Alausa, they will call me. That I should go and do the this thing. They will pay me that they are paying me ten thousand for the three garden, mm -hmm. and the garage that is close to that police station. It's me that I was sweeping the garage very early in the morning. So before going to work, but to go and do Loma work. That's what I'm doing. So tell us about your children. Um, there's Toby. There's John. Mm -hmm. Mm, I have to be, I have Okpayemi, um, and I have John, okay. I have Paul, and I have Joshua. Okay. What happened is that the, for, uh, the first husband that I have, I have four children for him. So this is my last born of the four children. That time I don't have anything to give him. So the boy now had a uh, battery. This battery they used to put in a remote. That tiger battery, he had the black something inside. I'm talking of how I met this other man that I have a uh, one boy for. Okay. So I'm, I'm working as Loma that time. The boy hates battery. So I now took the boy to my mother's place. I don't have money to take care of. The boy now slim. All this place, the bone come out. The boy was around four years that time. The boy is 14 years now, which his father left that time. So the mama now pushed the boy at the main road, follow me that. He cannot take care of him more. That is me that born my, my children. I should go and find where I will take care. I should leave her with what her own children. Me too, I should also for my children. I say, mama, I did not say you should take this way, but this boy is very sick now. So there's one man at uh, Penn Cinema at that time. 
doing a driving work. So the man said he did not see me like three or a week. I said one of my boys no. So he's the one that take care of that boy for me. So he now called me that his wife was late. Which I didn't know that he's somebody that used to pregnate women up and down. And he have children. Even that I pack all in children together with my own children when I'm living at a boy like G that time. So by the end of the later, I now heard that he gave another person, he pregnant another person. I said, ah, this one, we cannot go yeah. together. So he wanted to collect that boy because the boy is nine years old now. So we went to welfare at um, uh, Alausa, uh, at uh, Penn Slimmer, Total. So they now called him and said, until the boy is up to 18,000 era, because he always make trouble with me. I want to collect the boy, I want to collect 18,000, 18 years. 18 years, sorry, 18 years before he can get the boy. So from there, I started kicking. He's only that one that is going to private school. The other one is going to government school. So he said he wants to collect the boy. So we now drag, drag, drag. I didn't leave the boy. That's how I met that one and have that boy for him. Yeah. It's because of that boy. And I don't have money. That time, that time, more than Loma is paying 9,000 era. So by he said you will not come for a week, they will still remove the money. So that's how the man helped me and called me. In fact, if everybody, if, if, when one of my sisters saw the man, say, I told you this one is a very gentle and he's a kitty man. Say, you should calm yourself down, work with him, let him come and know my father. Not knowing that he's somebody that is, his face is just be as if he, don't, he, he cannot do anything. So at the end of the day, we now depart. So I'm taking care of my children with what I'm doing. So if you were not cleaning, if you were not doing this, if you were not, I mean, you were not, you stopped the llama work, but what, what you do basically now is cleaning. Mm -hmm. If you were not doing this, is there any other thing that you could have done if you had the means to do them, or you just like cleaning? No, I don't like it. Too. Like this, like, like I said last week, in fact, I'm started feeling the chest. Even I prefer cleaning a house than walking around the street. Because this is my two legs, now if not this is my daughter. I, I, will, I will even sit down one place, she will be doing everything and sat down. And even in the estate, people have been calling me since last year that she's still young. That she not allow her doing all this work. But I say nothing to do. When she collects her own salary, I collect my own. Like that, the, Dulu, that I, the one we are doing around, they pay her separate. She will remove something for me and use the rest for herself. So, so you know, thinking about going to school, or you're not thinking that like maybe the what did you said she learned a trade or something. Mm, that is now that she said she wants to go back to school after when she do freedom. So we are on that, and even this morning she still asks me, my mom, you say you want to leave that did you do work? If you leave the work, she she will be do, uh, looking for another cleaning job to do, so that we can be able to meet up with her and how she wants to cope with the lesson that I said she wants to start. Okay. How old is she now? She is 23 years old now. 23 years mm. old now. Mm. Okay, so, um, well, she wants to further... Mm, she wants to further now. more, yes. Okay, so, but there's no means now for her. Mm. So if you're not doing cleaning job, what else can you do? What would you have loved to do if you're not doing this cleaning job? Mm, what happened is that when I'm at that place, I bought this freezer there. That if I can be, what happened is that I don't want to, I want to rent a shop, but I'm thinking of by paying our strength, Nepal bill, paying that boy that is in private school, I'm paying for a shop, I'm paying Nepal in the shop. That's what happened. That is what convinced me. Though uh, when I collect the money like that, I will buy pure water, buy minerals. There's one woman selling food and in this our street in the night around 10 to 12 in the night, so I will put pure water. Even I learn Zobo, so I know how to do Zobo. I will take Zobo and maybe one bag of pure water minerals there. We will stay there to 12 in the night before we come in. So you sell that too, by the way? Mm, well, the you, could, you could do that in like a big shop if you want. Mm, I can do that. So you, 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 this freezer, you bought it because you want to be selling mm, water, yeah, sachet yeah, water, yeah, drinks? Zobo, yes. That's what you know how to sell? Mm. Is there anything else you want to talk about that I've not asked you? The what happened is that is this my children? I want them to, I want them to go to school. Mm, I want them to go to school because 
I suffer a lot because of these children. And they really try for me, they understand me. Even when I send John to my mother-in-law, they will send him back to me because they cannot take care of me. It's not that they don't have money. Even the father is, is in a limousine now, living there with the mother. But they will still send the boy, boy back to me. And even the one that is with them now, they have reckless his life. The boy is not going to school again. They didn't say anything because he withdraw at the SS2. The boy withdraw and I will be calling him that. You can't be using your life like this. Eh? Come together. You said you will not come. But what the mother, because the boy was with me a year before. But when my mother-in-law now sat him down that, when your mother dropped you, uh, maybe uh, two years, is she that take care of you? When the when I drop him, they don't want to call, I drop him that time because nothing to give them that time. But when they tell the boy the story, the boy take the story personal as if I'm even to him. Mm -hmm. They didn't explain to him that your your father leave your mother like uh, six years without giving anything, travel to Calabar. But they would just tell the boy that I'm the one that just drop him. Say, if they didn't take me that time, if the kidnapper carry him, she will be saying, you're having mother somewhere, you're doing this. So, I don't okay. know what to say about but that. There's something I just remembered. So, when you figured out your husband was probably planning, because this is an allegation, that your husband was allegedly planning to use your daughter for money reach out, did you report to the police? Did you raise an alarm? Or what exactly did you do apart from the prayer and taking the girl from you? And what happened is that I want to, uh, there was a time he was he, he, he around at a uh, limo show that time. So I told that my son that I should not bring him here. The boy said, okay, so I went there. So me and he now have an argument on about these children. So I now told him that today is not the day I will expose you. And the mother was there. Well, I didn't see anything, but I let my, my family, everybody knows about it. So, but what happened is that when I tell some people that are older than me, they say it's my father that can work that area. But at the end of the day, last three weeks, when the, he provoked me, so I told the mother that they should ask him. There's one of his junior brother, that one close to me. That one even said the mother went to his family at Abeokuta. Tell them that I'm the one that spoils his life like that. Make his life be uh, reckless like that. And now said, ow. Oh. Which that one is telling me that one of their family member that said they want to go to Abali's place. Anybody and they saw in his life, they will kill that person. I said, let them go. Let them go. But what happened is that they should ask Lagia what Lagia did about Toby that, that the thing overturned on his head now. Like four places, like private, like four places we went to, which they say the game was not set our eyes on her again. On him. Uh -huh, on him again, which I'm covering the girl. Even the girl now, they can't say she should go there. Since when she do uh, her freedom now, to go and even greet them, she can't go. Why can't she go? Why can't she see him? She, no, she cannot see him. What happened is that he, he is, even the girl herself not willing to see him. So I cannot force her. When she says she don't want to go, I cannot force her to go. Because she did not say it in her own mind that my mommy, let me go to uh, my mother, my grandma place and see my daddy. She will not, mm -mm. she did not say it, so I can't force her to go.